Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover the divisibility rules for numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. And remember, being divisible by a number means you can divide by that number and not end up with a remainder. So for example, 8 is divisible by 4. I can do 8 divided by 4 and that equals 2 and we don't have a remainder. Another example, 10 is divisible by 5. I can do 10 divided by 5 and we would get 2 without a remainder. So we're going to go through some rules here for 2, 3, 4, and 5 and I'll follow this video up with rules for 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 but for this video, 2, 3, 4, and 5, we're going to go through some rules where we'll automatically know if a number is divisible by those four numbers based on these rules. So for example, let's take a look at the first one. And this is the uh, start of our sentence for each one of these rules. So a number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is even. So for example, we have 258 here. The last digit is an even number. That makes that 258 an even number. Therefore, it's divisible by two. We know that we could do 258 divided by two and there won't be a remainder. A counter example would be, let's just do 259. That ends in an odd number so we automatically know that 259 is not divisible by 2. Let's go to the next one. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. So our example is 414. So this just means if we add up all the digits of that number and that's divisible by 3, that whole number will be. So 4 plus 1 plus 4. Well, 4 plus 1 is 5, plus another 4 is 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3 without a remainder. So we automatically know that 414 is divisible by 3. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number that is divisible by four. So for example here, 924, the last two digits form a 24. And 24 is divisible by four. 24 divided by four is six, and we don't end up with a remainder. So those last two digits are in fact divisible by four, so the whole number will be divisible by 4. 924 is divisible by 4. And lastly, 5. If the last digit is a 0 or a 5. So simple enough there. If a number ends in a 0 or 5, it's divisible by 5. So obviously here, 930 ends in a 0, so it is divisible by 5. So there you have it. There's the divisibility rules for 2, 3, 4, and 5. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.